Hey guys, doing a little head-to-head -head comparison here of the Leatherman Micra. I called it the Macra in their view. It's the Micra. And the Victorinox Rambler. Now these are both great uh, little keychain kind of multi-tools. And I have a review out separately on both of them. So if it piques your interest, go ahead and watch that. It goes much more in depth on them. On philosophy of use and all other stuff. So getting into it. Um, this one has scissors, a big pair of scissors there, which I've talked to in other reviews about how nice those are to have on you. And these are both kind of, you know, meant to accompany maybe an EDC knife like this. Um, and the scissors on this one are that, so these are a little bit smaller scissors, maybe a little less capable. This one f definitely feels like you could, you know, tackle some big heavy plastic, uh, heavier cardboard stuff like that feels like they're more capable in that sense however these ones are maybe a little bit more precision and you'd be surprised what these little ones can do they've tackled some pretty heavy jobs that you wouldn't think these could do and they did it um, so these are definitely a very proven set of scissors so very good set of scissors on both of them it really comes down to personal preference the blade on this Leatherman by the way, guys, none of the tools on either of these are locking. So, you're not going to have super heavy-duty stuff on there. The blades on these are very similar. Um, the Leatherman's is a little bit broader, as you can see. Maybe a little longer. This is 4, 420 HC steel. And uh, this is Victorinox's steel. This probably has a little bit... Well, I'm going to say the Victorinox steel is probably a little better just because this is uh, probably has better rust resistance very similar in edge retention so um, getting to the cap lifter on these there's the cap lifter on the Victorinox uh, cap lifter wire stripper not super impressed with it don't, I have not used it however I don't think that it looks super effective if you know that it's effective or you've used it Go ahead and post a comment, you know, on your experience with it, and your Phillips head driver. Um, for compare, on the uh, Leatherman, here is your cap lifter. You have a very fine flat head driver there, and here is your your Phillips head driver on this one. They both only have one Phillips head, so this is a little bit bigger Phillips head than this one. And this is actually a flat head. It looks like it's a flat head. It's flat. However, it says four Phillips on here. Four Phillips because of that shape that they put in there. I haven't tried it, so um, I don't know. It's probably, you know, it's probably a compromise compared to a actual Phillips head, but it probably works too. I know Leatherman generally puts out some quality stuff. Here is the uh, Deluxe Tinker a review out on this. That This is a, a full-size driver. And there's your comparison in size. Okay. Um, okay, getting to the files on these. Fingernail files, that is. They're not metal files. Okay. This is where your flathead driver is on this one. You only have one flathead on this Victorinox. You have the claw on the top of this. Files are pretty much identical on these two, other than the tops. Um, and on this one, something that doesn't have this has a another flathead. This has this this size and that tiny size that was on the cap lifter. This one has kind of this one on the file, and it's kind of in between sizes, uh, in between the two that the Leatherman has. I'm trying to. And I dropped it. Excellent. Okay. Sorry, guys. So that size. Which is actually a pretty ideal size for this knife. It's been very good. No critiques on it. Getting to the tweezers on this one. Great Victorinox tweezers. No complaints on those. This has a folding pair of tweezers, which I haven't really seen before. For this knife. Uh, Victorinox tweezers win. Um, there's better tweezers in my opinion and I also have a little bit more experience with these Victorinox tweezers 
so I know they'll work fine. This has a toothpick, which this one does not have. Um, not a huge deal, actually, I don't think. This uh, Leatherman has measurements on the outside here, and this has no measurements on it. Um, so really, this one has bigger pair of scissors, maybe an extra driver or two, um, and it's a little bit heavier. Um, probably very similar in price. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter, a little more streamlined. You can access the tools from the outside of this without opening it up. Um, as far as colorations go, this comes in a this red comes in a black color. Um, and I talked to that in this review. This one, um, I put a picture at the end of this review. I didn't talk actually talk about it in the review. This comes in several colors. This comes in like a green, a I don't remember exactly. I think maybe a brown, a purple. If you if you're curious about buying this, go to the review. It comes in other colors. So um, there's kind of a quick look. Um, it really just comes down to which one fits your needs better. So see you guys.